Hi, good afternoon. My name is Jessica Gindap and I will be talking to you guys about my reactions about the video that was shown in Humanities called Wasteland. Before watching the video, I had thoughts about the title itself. I was thinking that this movie is maybe about waste, of course. So when I started watching this video, I kind of stopped in some parts where I could think and imagine what this guy is talking about. This guy named Vic Muniz started as a regular guy, like any of the guys out there. He wasn't as rich like how he is right now. So the part when he talked about on how he got money to fly to America in 1983, I was shocked because it's not easy to earn money. And the way he earned money wasn't easy at all. And it was in a painful way. When I heard people laughing at his story, I didn't know how to react. I didn't laugh, but instead I was shocked because when he said he accidentally got shot and after that guy, he gave him money. It kind of, well, it did make it, I got shocked and um, scared in a way. Anyways, back to the topic. Later on, he talks about his life before, like before he was, uh, before he started being an artist. He was a guy, or we could call it a garbage man. Why? Because he would clean out the dumpster and move it to another van. Now that seems easy, but it's not. Now that he sees that the environment has changed, he was kind of relieved and he wanted to change something and you know um maybe put something new vic Venus later on uses objects from the dumpster to actually make something out of them make objects materials images and also uses liquids on his image he makes paintings of environment settings people and especially kids for me, using used objects is not right at all, especially the liquid, liquid ones. Especially when it comes from the garbage. I would be told when I was younger not to play with garbage. But for Vic, it's art. When I was looking at his paintings and artworks, I was actually amazed on how much he could do by just using used materials. He also said that his favorite painting or artwork that he did would be his paintings on children. He painted pictures of children from the Caribbean. For me, this is a really nice thing to do and say because children from the Caribbean aren't in the higher level. Yes. If you know what I mean. Um, Vic would actually show more of them through painting. When he said and showed how he made the paintings of children with sugar, I remember the show I used to watch when I was a kid and until now. It was, it's called Art Attack, where this artist would be either in a room or outside making art or pictures using used materials, and that I would call art. Vic actually wants to tell us that he is doing this to change lives of people. From the whole movie, from the mo from the film that I watched, I kind of understood. Um, I kind of understood what he said in that part, where he said he wants to change the lives of people. Now that I was impressed, not all the artists want to do this. They just want to paint and sculpt to show people that they have skills. Vic wants to change the lives of people, and that's more different than the other artists in a good way. His questions actually stuck to me. Like, can art change people? Can this be done? Or what would be the effect of this? When I was thinking about these three questions, I try to answer them. I try to answer them in my opinions. This whole video did kind of disgust me in a way not because of seeing the people seeing how the people looked but because of the garbage 
But listening to Vic's plans and seeing his artwork was interesting for me in a way. Seeing smiles on these people's faces also put a smile on mine. Now, I feel like he did his job and plans right. Thank you for listening to my reactions and have a great day.